Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael Donero from the Java Challengers Initiative. And today we're gonna see a Java Challenger about Java 13 and the new switch case statement. Okay, so this is the Challenger and we've got here a string builder and we are appending values from those methods. So basically we are uh, asking if it's big boss or also lot and then we have here some generics. So it's a type error generic and we are returning the generic type and we are using here again the yield preserved word in Java 13. So why uh, it's useful to make use of the new switch case statement? It's, it's more clean and it, it's more just succinct. So I'm gonna give you some time to think about this challenger and let me know when you're ready. Okay, guys, so are you ready to the answer? Sure, let's okay, go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see then. -da -da -da. Oh, yeah, oh, fortunately, both of you are wrong. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, the problem here is that we are having a compilation error on this line. So why we are having this compilation error? So you can see the difference here that uh, we are using this uh, column and yield. So if we use the column yield syntax all together, it's fine. But if we use the column yield along with lambdas, it doesn't compile. So if we do that, if we change it to lambda, it works fine, I can show you. Yeah, so it would be SSD, the answer if uh, there wasn't the, the yield. So the yield would be op optional, it's not necessary? So yield is not necessary with lambdas, but if we use oh, uh, okay. this syntax, it is necessary. Oh, okay, I didn't so, saw the, the difference. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's very subtle, this difference. And it was only included in uh, Java 13, just to keep the code consistent, not mixed up. And yeah, why they added the yield reserved word? It's because before uh, the switch case statement in Java was like that, um, to return something and we would put break. break in every state but there is one detail that if we don't put a uh, break on the uh, older switch case statement the condition would go to the next one and then to the other one so that makes sense for low level languages like c in c uh, when we are working with bits it makes sense but otherwise it's i mean java is not necessarily a language specific for dealing with uh, low-level machine. Java is uh, it's a language more specialized in high-level applications. So it doesn't make much sense to have the switch case statement from the C language. So that's why the decision of removing the break, the old way to do the switch case statement. And there are other important things here to mention. So there is a difference between keyword and reserved word. So the difference is that with a keyword, we can't declare as a variable name, for example. So we can't declare a variable with uh, the name break or while or for, and we can't use those names as a package name as well. So on the other hand, if we use reserved words, it's fine. If we use var or if we use yield, it's totally fine. So this decision was made by uh, a JVM architect to improve retro compatibility. So we started since Java 9. So you don't see anymore uh, a keyword that uh, would make your project break. Because if there is someone using a keyword as a variable name or as a package name, it would break the a project and it would make it more difficult to go from, um, to migrate to newer Java versions. And another thing that is important to mention is the change with break to yield. So for example, in Java 12, we were using break here instead of yield. So that's uh, one reason that those features are called preview features because 
it might be changed in other Java versions. So it was decided that it is better to obligate the developer to use a flag like a preview feature when you're running uh, this uh, program, okay? And well, a uh, new thing that I'm going to start doing on the Java Challengers is to run uh, the Challengers with Docker. So that's the image I created. So basically here is, uh, I'm declaring that I'm going from OpenJDK and I'm copying all the files to this uh, working directory inside Docker. And I am uh, running um, this class and I'm compiling. And then, so let's just run this container. So at first we're gonna build this uh, image declaration, okay? That is basically the Docker file. And you can see here that we can't compile it. So it's the same output from the program we run on IntelliJ. So it's saying that in the line 31, different case kinds used in the switch case. So yeah, that's what we discussed. So if we go here, line 31, yeah, it's not compiling here, okay? So that's the challenger for today. So yeah, if you want to go deeper into the challenger, you can go to the OpenJDK website to Java 13, and then you can explore all the new Java features. Okay, so do you have any questions, guys? I'm good. You, uh, uh, all the, 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 the question that I have, you already answered at the beginning that was related to the yield uh, and lambdas that you already uh, answered. So I'm good. Thanks a lot for the, 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 the challenge. Perfect. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys. So that was a challenger of today about Java 13 and the new switch case statement. It's important to keep up to date with uh, Java versions. And yeah, if you want to know more, you go to javachallengers.com. Uh, give a like to the video because it will help me out to uh, bring more content for you uh, with more quality and get subscribed as well. And challengers, see you next time.